back, Tater Tots, for another new Create a Sim. I'm really excited about this one. So I've decided that I kind of want to be making some characters from different Webtoons that I enjoy. So if you guys don't know already, Webtoon is an amazing app that you can download on your phone and you can look at it online on your computer. And basically, people from all around the world can post their own original stories and which are basically they're all comics and it is amazing and there are so many talented artists and people on there and it's just incredible. I also enjoy drawing a lot and so I have always wanted to create a webtoon as well. I'm actually currently working on developing my characters for it and everything like that. I've been trying to learn some new things with my drawing tablet and my software and whatnot. But anyways, guys, so the characters in this webtoon are from one called Unholy Blood. And this is a story by Lena Im, or Lena Im, I don't know how you say their name, and Jong Hyun Kim. And this is an original on webtoon. I believe it's in the supernatural. And so I'm just going to kind of read you guys the summary real quick, just so you can get a better idea. When vampires destroy her chance to have the normal life she's always wanted, Hyen is forced to draw on her darkest secret to rid the world of the merciless hunters that took it over 10 years ago. With the support of a rising star in the local police force, Hyen steps up to protect her loved ones, face her past, and get her revenge. So basically, um, you've got two, your two main characters. This right here that I'm creating first off is Yunte or Yunte Huang Huang. I don't know really how you say his name. But yeah, so he is basically the all-star detective on the police force that she is working with. And he's a real cutie, guys. I'm just going to say that now. He, he be looking real fine. He's real fit and everything. But I couldn't find a hairstyle that looked exactly like him in the comic because it's like straight. But, you know, he's got the bangs all in his face. And so I liked this hairstyle, but I do end up actually changing it later on. And now that I'm watching this video, I kind of wish that I had kept it. <laughs> but I guess, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But I think he looks real good with that hairstyle right there. But I wanted to stay more true to the character with the hair down because he does not have his hair styled up at all. So, yeah, I needed to change it anyways. But I really loved that short sleeve shirt on him. But I decided to end up changing that later on as well because... He is actually in the first part of the comic when she meets him, um, he is wearing a long sleeve black turtleneck. So I ended up using some CC for this. So this character himself, he, like I said, he's an all-star detective and he ends up, you know, working with this high-end girl. And high-end, she is... Um, she's got brown hair originally and she's a really beautiful girl and you end up finding out that she has you know her other part of herself which is a vampire and she is something that is called a pure blood and so basically all the other vampires that exist in this world um, they are trying to get a pure blood and they want to I don't know if they want to kill her or what I haven't really gotten too far like crazy into it but um, yeah and so it's it's getting the story's pretty intense the artwork is beautiful and gorgeous the action is fantastic and just uh, it, it's fantastic because basically what's happening is the world has suddenly vampires suddenly emerged and they are like killing people so in the city there is a siren that goes off and you're not allowed to be outside you're advised not to be outside anyhow after a certain period of time because the vampires might kill you because there's a lot of murders and things going on and so um, people are dying in the streets that are staying out too late because of these vampires and so Haiyan she is wanting to basically take revenge for her family and for herself and she wants to rid the world of all these vampires, even though she's one herself, but she wants to live in society with people. And so that is kind of the whole premises behind this webtoon. But guys, Captain Huang, Huang, whatever, he's real fine looking. He's real good. Look at this. Look at this shirt on him. I wanted to w have him wear that really tight <laughs> shirt, but it kind of showed his belly and it doesn't show his belly in the actual like comic. So I didn't want to do that. So I tried to pick clothes that I felt were pretty good and similar with his style of what I could picture him wearing from the story, from what I know of his character. And this is where I decide I needed to change the hair up because as much as I love that hair on this sim because it looked really good, I wanted to keep it 
ah, close to the comic. So that's why I decided to go with this hairstyle here at, in the end because that's more of what it's like. It's down and, you know, he's got the bangs in the front. And his face is obviously because it's, you know, drawn in manga or anime style. And so his face is naturally longer, but you can only do so much <laughs> in the Sims game, guys. So, like, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to work with what I got. And that's just how it is. Part of me really wishes I had just left that short sleeve shirt because he looked real good in that. But, yeah, this was the, um, me finding my CC turtleneck. So I decided to go with that because that is what he's technically wearing. I wish that the material on this turtleneck was a little bit different, but I love the wrinkles in it because it makes it look more realistic and the folds and whatnot. And then just trying to find a good pair of pants that went with it. So now we go into creating Haiyan Park. And she is a gorgeous girl. She's got beautiful, long brunette hair, brown eyes. And I think like she is just, she's so beautifully drawn. I love her eyes, how they have drawn her eyes in this webtoon is amazing and that her lips are like always perfect <sighs> I know she's she's just gorgeous when it comes to changing her eyes she has brown eyes originally but when she changes into a vampire they become this beautiful like piercing blue I don't want to say that they're like ice blue they're more like I don't know sapphire I don't know they're just really pretty so I tried to get her face she has a more rounded face it's still pointed because you know your typical anime or manga style you know, they've got a pretty pointed chin a lot of the time. So I just tried to make her face look small and more rounded. And then I did end up using some CC for like the vampire hair because there's nothing in just the regular Sims catalog that gives us really long hair. And when she's in her normal like human looking form with her brunette hair, she always has her hair back in like a low ponytail. And but she's got these bangs in the front and so I wanted to find something similar, and this was kind of the best option that I could find with having two bang things in the front. And even though the ponytail's not super long, you know, I just was like, you know what, it's going to work. And she always wears this like big jacket and almost looks like a Letterman jacket from high school. But she basically wears that and then she has like a ball cap that she wears some of the time. So I did do that for one of her outfits as well. And so I ended up having to find... I believe it was in the men's clothing was where they had the jacket that actually fit more of the color of what I was looking for and then her boots and I decided to add the makeup with the eyeliner around the eyes not going all the way on the bottom lid but just in the corners of it because in typical anime style you know you've got a very prominent outline on the eyes like the eyes are pretty much a really big focus of most of that type of artwork and so I wanted to definitely highlight her eyes and make them a little bit bigger. So this is where I start going into trying to decide on a hairstyle for basically her um, formal outfit because I haven't in the comic itself like I haven't seen her actually do anything like really formal so I was it was kind of hard for me to find something that fit her style but I decided to just go with this something simple because I feel like she wouldn't be one to dress up super extravagant or have anything like crazy or crazy heels I feel like she's kind of she's simple you know she's a simple girl she doesn't want to have too much attention drawn to herself that's the vibe that I get from her character but even that so like that's she's beautiful she's absolutely gorgeous and so when it came to her um oh my gosh what do you call it fitness or whatever active wear and like pajamas and the webtoon she's always wearing like a, a white t-shirt or like a white tank top and blue jean shorts and so I wanted to kind of give that uh, prominence definitely in her character here and so I just so you guys are aware I will have these characters up on my gallery but if you want to find them because they do have some CC on them you are going to have to make sure you check the box to include custom content um, and if you do download it and you don't have that custom content it should be fine the only thing that would be missing would be like um, Captain Huang's um, turtleneck that he was wearing and for her oh just her her uh, just her I feel like it's not a big deal but like her gray or silver vampire hair white hair whatever you want to call it and so that would be missing but I mean you could probably easily just pick a different hairstyle if you want it just won't be as long and gorgeous but uh, also can I just say I love that dress that came with the paranormal um, it was 
gorgeous and it just makes me so happy was that the paranormal one i think it was the paranormal one but yeah a swimsuit too gotta keep it simple guys she's not one that's just gonna like go and show off the best bikini ever kind of a thing so you know i didn't want to go too crazy with it oh that's the other thing that's custom content is the lips there's a custom content lip that i use because i i like it because it makes the lips more realistic and it gives them a little more like oomph because i want something that's got like kind of a light neutral color so something that's a little bit more um natural I guess you could say and now that I'm thinking about it I'm realizing <laughs> when she's in her vampire form she always has this like bright red lipstick and I'm realizing now that I did not give her bright red lipstick so I think I'm gonna have to go back into my game and adjust that because that's gonna bother me now that I know that because I'm literally looking at the picture of the webtoon right now and I'm over here going oh my gosh I've made a horrible mistake a horrible mistake everyone a horrible one but you know it, it, it is what it is you know I sometimes you know you just get so excited and you start going and then you just you leave off the small little details and that's kind of what sucks but yeah here we are going right into her vampire form and uh, it's really fun to work on the vampire form, but picking the hair was kind of hard for me because her hair is always like it's long and it's typically not in a ponytail when she's in this form, but it's like it's wavy, kind of curly. And so I decided that this was kind of the best one that I could find. And of course, giving her her fangs. And yeah, I can't believe I didn't add bright red lipstick. I'm going to have to go back in and do that. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't, so I'm gonna have to go in and add that because that is gonna drive me crazy now. Do you guys, do you guys ever do that? Like you sit here and you record a video like I'm doing right now, and then you realize the things that you did wrong. Ugh, so aggravating, so aggravating. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing some more creative sims, and I've got some more speed builds coming your way. So thank you so much for joining me, Tater Tots, and I will catch you next time. See ya.